yo back again with another efx tutorial if you guys did follow me on ig yeah i would have seen that i post a little preview talking about i'm gonna do a halo effect yeah in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this cool halo effect and after effects and let's get right into it so first things first so i'm dragging in my clip put that into my composition i believe it's 1920 by 1080 this is what my clip looks like go to work, go to work. Go to work. as you've seen the cardi music video this is a clip from that music video and we're gonna be adding a halo on top of his head he's not an angel whatsoever but you know the clip is pretty cool and it has a lot of space so let's get right into it first things first what you want to do is add a new null object above your clip your null object is where you're gonna add the tracking information on when you add your 3d layer you're gonna parent link it to the null object so next let's add a solid layer and now let's go into element 3d now what you want to do is obviously either get a model that's just a circle a halo model or just make it yourself and i'm going to teach you how to make it yourself so what you want to do add a solid layer go to these masking tools click hold and go to ellipse tool now what you want to do is make a shape of a mask just like that and then we want to add another one instead of it being white we're going to change this layer to black so go to your effects and presets type fill click drag and change this to black now we're just going to scale it down something like this pre-comp these two layers so click and shift so you can click both of them right click pre-comp move all attributes into new composition now what you want to do is add a color key onto that layer change it to black and just change the tolerance move the edge thin to one it won't be that smooth but it'll look something like this now what you want to do is click your circle layer now click layer above here and hit auto trace leave this default and hit ok and now you have a mask of this circle now when we go to our element layer we can go to custom layers text and masks and change the path layer to circle now we can hide this circle layer and go into our scene setup now that we're here we can hit extrude and we will have a circle just like that pretty easy now what you want to do is obviously you can mess with the bevel of it i'm just going to get close up so you guys can see what the changes would look like so we can mess with the bevel backside basically it'll make this just rounded and not sharp and if we mess with the segments if you look up close you go lower it's very sharp as you go higher it's very round now we can mess with the depth a little bit we don't want it too extruded so we could put this a little bit a little bit more and that's fine now we can go to our presets and the basic materials you have with element would be this gold material we can click and drag that here and you have something like this you want to leave your layer to none and when you go to your scene setup after you take the gold material just make everything white and bump up the intensity for everything i forgot the gold makes it a lot more of a like harsh glow and you don't want that when you add the tint of the glow color it'll look way cleaner and how it did in my example video so after we have our ring here uh let's just position it let's position it to be above his head and then we're gonna get into the tracking part so now that it's where we want it to be now i'm going to apply all the effects to it now once you have your model here what you want to do is type deep glow make sure you guys have deep glow as you see here it's looking a lot cleaner and when you add the exposure as you see here once you bump the exposure it increases the width of the halo making it look like a neon circle instead of just a solid 3d circle so put it to your liking and now what you want to do is go to tint enable color and go down to the gold coloring areas and yeah change it towards the lighter area of a yellow or orange and you have something like this now what we want to do we're going to go straight to the tracking and now in order to track this is going to be a different way depending on your footage you can just use 3d tracker and track something to his head but a lot of the times your 3d tracker will not sense the body of your character and you will have to do it manually which is what we're doing here now once you click on your clip what you want to do is go to window scroll down to tracker enable your tracker after you enable your tracker what you want to do is go to track motion only have position enabled and now scroll up you'll have your track point here now what you want to do is go to the box and just increase it a little bit same with the one in the middle now what you want to do is click your box and track it to the nose which will be the center of your head and it'll be a lot easier and just faster to track now you can either go frame by frame like this and just put it to his nose or depending on the quality of your subject you can just hit play and it'll manually track but once you see it goes off track you can just stop it so here it's starting to go off track so i stopped it i'm gonna go back a couple of keyframes and just fix it let me see you go to work 
Let me see you go to work. 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 Let me see you go to work. 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 Now, as you get to your last keyframe, what you want to do now is double check you have everything properly tracked. And now go to your first keyframe, click on your null, hit edit target, make sure the layer is selected and change it from circle to null. Hit OK and now hit apply and then hit OK. Now your null object will have all the keyframes of the, you know, the face track we just made. Now, in order to track the halo to the null object, and now what I'm going to do is hit scale and bump up the scale a little bit for the halo, and then just change the scale down a little bit here on the world transform. And now what you want to do is go to the halo layer, hit the pick width tool and drag it to the null object. But when you're doing that, make sure you're on the first keyframe. You don't want to be in the middle. You don't want to be, you know, at the end because then it won't properly track the halo to the face. You have to be on the first frame. So once you do that, then you'll get this. Now it's tracking. Obviously it's not positioned properly now. So we're just going to do what we did before and just put it up there just like this. And now we have our track. Obviously though, it doesn't really have a lot of life and motion to it. So we're going to manually do that. Now we're going to enable all of these keyframes, scale, position, and all the rotation and hit you on your keyboard. And as he moves, we're just going to do this. We're just going to follow the halo and just add some motion to it. As we get to our final keyframes obviously here you don't see the top of his head so you don't really need to have this but we'll just position it above his head just for the sake of this and then we're just gonna fade it out so it looks pretty clean like this and then just t keyframe the opacity go down and change it to zero now if we enable motion blur and just cache playback you can see now we have this amazing effect the halo is properly tracked to his face and now if you'd like, you can add a whole bunch of touches now. Anything you want to track to his face as well, you can also just apply it and connect it to the null. This is the base tutorial for this. If you guys did enjoy and I did help you out in today's tutorial, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new and leave any comments for more tutorials in the future. This has been Antonio and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.